Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. That's Porter. Um, can any of y'all guess where this is located at? If you've been down here, you probably have seen it, or maybe you haven't. But this is right at uh, Dugley Station. Some people call it Nubian Station, but I still call it Dugley because nothing's changed. So this this has been like this for quite a while. And it's been like that for so long that uh, people are using it as a trash can, as you can see. So my question is, why is that... Interesting. Light is working. He just used it as a trash can, just right in front of my eyes. I didn't think he was gonna do that. But um, right down here in Dugley Station. He literally just used that as a trash can, guys. Just, just, just now. There's the other question. Where where are the trash cans? Ladder 11, and a known medical. 84 kill sites. There's one there. Ladder 11, and a known medical. 84 kill sites. Road. Um, nearest box 531. There's one over there. Collison Road, 1232. There is one over there as well. So it's, it's not as short as the trash cans. There's also one right there. And there's another one over there. So there's plenty of trash trash barrels. It's just that people just choose to put trash where they feel like putting it. I guess he's waiting for a ride share or something. I'm not too sure what he's doing. So my question is, if, if the T has all this money to fix up infrastructure, um, what part of the infrastructure are they fixing up? Yes, ma'am, what do you have? Um, and there's another section that I want to show you guys too. Where the uh, curb is um, just really like falling, falling out or deteriorating. I'll take a walk over to the other side to see if I can show you guys that right quick. Let's see what we can take a quick walk over there. Let's see how long it takes them to fix that uh, box with no cover on it. Exposed wires. And stuff like that. Like They should be able to fix stuff like that. That, sh that shouldn't be a problem. But this box right here, I don't, I don't know how it got moved, but it's kind of like in the... It's kind of like in the, in the walkway. But the other ones have covers on them. I just don't know why that one doesn't have a cover on it. Maybe somebody took it off. It's kind of hard to say at this point. Now they still haven't fixed that um, that downspout that drips when it rains, so I don't expect them to fix it anytime soon. But I've done a couple of videos on that before. Uh, when it rains, the uh, water literally pours out. How you doing? Stop making, brother. That could use a little attention as well. I don't expect him to fix that anytime soon. 
but there's a there's a pedestrian like crosswalk over here that it seems like kind of buses drive by they kind of damage it a little bit worse at least they moved those um curbs out of the way there were some curbs that were i don't know you guys remember there was a bunch of curbs that were sitting over here in this corner at least they cleaned that up that's that's one thing I noticed that they have moved. But right over here is the Erie that's it's, it's constantly getting damaged. Every time the buses drive by it, or drive over it, I should say, it, um, it kind of shifts a little bit. You can see where they patched it before. And you can see where it's starting to crumble up again over here. It's only going to get worse. So it's not going to get any better. See right here too where it has been patched before. And it's just, it's just not working out. Alright guys, I just want to show you that. Now, there's going to be a lot of potholes this year anyway because of the weather. Yep. But at least try to do the best you can. All right. That's holding water, so that's not good either. Alright guys, I just want to show you a little bit of what goes on in the city down here. Catch you guys on the next one. 79 Bernard.